video in previous video i explained differences between scrollable and non scrollable cursors right so in this video i am going to explain what is insensitive scrollable cursor what is sensitive scrollable cursor so there are two types of scra uh, cursors scrollable and non scrollable again we can divide scrollable cursors into two types so one is insensitive insensitive scrollable cursor and sensitive scrollable cursor so before we start discussing about the scrollable when insensitive and uh, sensitive scrollable cursors we need to understand basic concepts of cursor okay. so when you declare a cursor and open fetch after fetch you can update the data so so to understand these topics so the sensitive scrollable cursor particularly to understand sensitive scrollable cursors you should know the prerequisites you should know okay for update of and where current of it is not linked so the for update where current of we don't use we we don't discuss directly over there but if you know this concept easily you can link with the sensitive scrollable cursor that is i meant here okay where current of so we have something called for update where current of what does mean i'll try to give a simple and uh, high level definition just over you once you fetch the data if you want to update that row so the row which is you are fetching the row which you are fetching if you want to update it the rows which you are fetching only those rows needs to be updated or deleted in normal con cursor concept we go with the concept of for and for update where current out so we implement this concept to update the rows which are returning by the cursor fetch cursor fetch so if you know this definition if you know before that it is easy for you to understand now so let me under explain you what is insensitive scrollable cursors so first you know very well already i guess you are you should have a scrollable cursor is nothing but we can fetch okay uh, it's a bidirectional read it is a bidirectional bidirectional means you can read previous backward what we call that is a backward read and forward okay we can read the previous data and next data so if you want to read randomly randomly random read if you want to implement that also can that also can be done with the concept called scrollable cursor so non scrollable cursor means you can read in a sequential manner when it comes to the scrollable cursor you can read previous backward you can go if you are at the bottom out of 100 you are at the cursor at 99th record if you want to go back yes you can go if you want to read from top to bottom that also possible if you want to hit a particular record that also possible so all the things can be done db2 scrollable cursors now in that there are two types are there so insensitive scrollable cursor if you declare a cursor if you declare a cursor with an insensitive scrollable cursor you cannot update or delete all the things not possible okay it may not be visible to you it will not be possible so while you are declaring the cursor declare okay curve 1 we will declare in sensitive scroll cursor for so here if you declare like this you can update the data of the cursor is a read only i'll show you the definition now you will understand in a better way with the type of this cursor result table does not change after the cursor gets opened 
so first you will declare the cursor like this so in this way you will declare the cursor and in procedure division in procedure division we will open the cursor right so first you will declare the cursor in this way like uh, here you see instance to cursor scroll then after if you open the cursor this is only read only the cursor where position update deletes are not allowed even updates by other application to the table does not affect in the result table what does mean this is only read okay this is only read so where the cursor is there that row is not allowed to delete or update so even the same application cannot update or delete that row where the cursor is positioned let's say uh, i am i have a 100 records i'll take this one now my cursor at 1005 sachin record the cursor at 1005 sachin uk record now so this cursor at 1005 employee number so this row cannot be updated or deleted so we cannot able to delete see i am i am okay this is my own table and this are my application so this particular application or program is accessing this cursor so here once i open the cursor i cannot able to update delete this record the cursor which is positioned right so not all even so you know our program itself not able to update or delete so how other applications can access when can update so that also not possible so this is read only cursor where positioned position means where cursor is there control is there that row cannot be updated or deleted deletions or updations are not allowed by the same application or other applications also okay at the same time it does not affect the result table the rows in the result table remains the same values if any row is added which qualifies to be in the result table but added after cursor open would want okay so what, this is something called a result table and all team so i don't want to get into the in depth of that okay so as simple as okay so in ins to scrollable cursor we cannot able to update and delete so either our application program or other applications cannot able to update or delete if you open the cursor with insensitive scroll up scroll you are restricting update update updates and deletions that you are trying to do so once you restrict obviously the result table remains the same right later point okay so if any row is added okay there is other application adding the new rows okay there are other rows are added so those rows will not be uh, visible to us once we open the cursor once we open the cursor result table is going to have few rows that rows will be there till end of the cursor close till we close the cursor the same table same table or same result table data will be there that is in sense to scrollable cursor so it is the read only so what is sense to scrollable cursor you can update and delete so basically what you can do here since to scrollable cursor you can update and delete but again in that there are two types are there since to since to static since to dynamic so here there are three components you should understand so okay i have i placed the cursor the question is what so my control at this particular record so 1005 sachin so can update that 1005 sachin record can i able to update can i able to my cursor is there can i able to delete uh, okay this particular record update or delete can i do that okay so that is a question mark so yes in case of sensitive scrollable cursor yes you can do the changes you can do the changes so the updations update and delete is possible in 
sensitive scalable cursor then why we are having two flavors one is static another one is a dynamic let me explain you what, what is what so positioned updates or deletes are visible in the result table if any result table rows gets updated after update it got disqualified for the selection then it gets removed from from the result table also deleted rows get not visible so what is the meaning of since to static okay so we updated this particular record we updated this record once we update the record it will be immediately affected in the result table so there is a something called result table when you are fetching that when you are op when you declare the cursor and open so it will retrieve some rows into the result table so from that result table basically result table is something or temporary area where your data will be present just for your understanding i am giving you one example so the actual data will be there in the table once you open the data once you open the cursor it will fetch actual data from the table and it will load in the result table result table is something like a temporary uh, a place where your cursor data will be there okay your cursor data will be there so in the result table if any row is updated or deleted it is going to update immediately so that is they are trying to say positioned updates deletes are visible in the result table if any result table rows gets updated after update it got disqualified for the selection then it gets it gets removed from the result table so updates and uh, this is updating by you updating by other application these are all visible if we fetch use sensitive keyword so even other applications also can see the updated data if you update it that will be visible to the other applications also inserts inserts are not visible even after they inserted let's say if i inserted even that is not going to be visible i added one row that is not going to be visible so this is the only one difference between since to static and dynamic so basically if you insert a new row that is satisfying the cursor where condition cursor where condition so in case of static it will not visible to us but in case of since to dynamic if you do insertions that row will be visible to the vis visible in the result table okay so result table will not grow means if other applications are inserting few more rows after opening the cursor it is not visible to us when you open the cursor how many rows are there in the result table same data will visible till you complete but in case of dynamic here also you can update the insertions data will be immediately visible to you to your application that is the main difference between static and dynamic the syntax to declare static uh, since to static so just mention since to static scroll if it is a dynamic just you have to mention since to dynamic scroll that's all okay otherwise the declaration of the cursor remain the same so that's all for this particular video team in uh, in other videos i'll explain uh, directly the examples i'll explain practical examples that's all for this particular video team thank you please subscribe our channel